All right, so yo, welcome back to Tales of Arc. And if you're enjoying the video, make sure you like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. But anyways, back to some Beyond Light as we continue. Aramis just challenged us to a well, she invited us, but it says the warrior, so I'm assuming it's a one-on-one -on -one combat trial by fighting, whatever. So we're gonna do that. I rolled a dice and it got me burning Maul again. I think I prefer him or Soka. I can just throw it from far away, but this is fine. You send instead of using the fist like the stasis thing, you use a hammer and you do fire shock wave. Hopefully, I'm hoping Stasis get the better with the Twilight Gap. The perk yes. thing. Theme for ruthlessness, for final death. For Phylax, there is no greater joy than battle. You must challenge her, but use caution. Oh, Guardian. this is Phylax. This is an Aramis. Well, we were trying to draw her out, so it wouldn't make sense that she would be the one to challenge us. I don't know. I just thought that Aaron was like, hey, you kill one of my elite fours. You got to challenge me next. Or maybe she just want to fight strong opponents, but she wants to rule. Because I don't know. I was thinking Granny falling. It makes me think of Granny Goku. Man, I can't wait to get to the Hive Witch Queen. Yep. Well, yeah, it's called Tactical Retreat. What did Phylax mean by God Dependence? Or the traveler. I don't feel dependent on or limited by the traveler. I feel close to the traveler. Protected. Or I did. Since you got that splinter, I feel further away. Aw, poor ghost. Do you think we'll get a darkness ghost? That'd be cool. Or this would be a way to where we die. We can revive ourselves without the ghosts. But then I feel like we won't have the ghosts no more. Or any. Oh, what are you? Principal Wavern. Why do all these guys have a have like raid boss symbol? What does that mean? Does that, that just mean they're higher level? Unless immune. Well, I would pick up my hammer, but it's so far and guarded by this freak right here. Until we get Thunderlord, and then he's dead. My Thunderlord is so good. Justice. My elixir fight for the fight itself. There is nothing beyond. Yeah, oh yeah, that's why it's called the warrior. I feel like I've been taught this lesson multiple times by multiple people in multiple races. Like, isn't the hive all about strength? The mightiest of all cabal? Same thing. Fallen? Not really. The Vex, not really. I don't know what the scoring does, honestly. I feel like I got so little of the scoring that I barely know what their motivation is to escape the prison. Jailbreak. Maybe they just want they're just petty and want revenge on everything. Like I don't know. So will these evil 
elixir people. Or is that what they're called? No. Or don't they have a name? I feel like they do. What's the name for... Because they're like a different tribe. Or whatever. Damn, I forgot. Pretty sure they mentioned it. Multiple times. I just can't remember. what. What's it called? What's this group called? I swear to God, if I die by another explosive... I will be mad because I'm because I'm like zoomed in a lot so I don't like see them when they're like super close no mine oh sniper Shit, that thing killed him instant kill. Wow. I've never seen the Fallen's military forces so organized. For many years, Elixir we Oh, there's no proper sliding. Yes. Aramis took our broken houses and forged an army. And she wants to give that army stasis if they ever came for the last city. I feel like we'll be fine, honestly. The stasis isn't, isn't something to write home about. It's about, feels pretty mediocre right now. Like, I feel like it's pretty, it's more defensive. It's like, it's like a replacing a defensive ability. With a new, more like, it seems a more, more maneuverable defensive super compared to like, the Sentinel. But I feel like I haven't tapped into its full power yet, so I can't really judge it too hard. Like once we get the um the little bubble like this thing and then this thing then I can see how full power I am waiting or it's second super like I feel like that's the roaming one and then we have like a stationary one or a throwable one or whatever another one of those giant mechs Break House Salvation. From the oh, now you're to call the House of Salvation. Another splintered house united under Aramis. No, never mind. They're just a house that was in alliance with Aramis. Man, it's so satisfying when you throw the hammer and it goes dunk. My hammer! So I, I guess she is like the Kale of Kale. She's like Skolas. That's what like what they mentioned earlier. She has all these houses under her that she's making alliance with or rule over. This looks like a boss arena if I ever seen one. I will bring your corpse to Eremis Alright, I need a I need a thumbnail. So I'm assuming you have phases. Unless I'm just uh, unless I can instantly body you now. Strength for such a little creature. Answers yes. Oh, there goes the waste of my super. Um what you want me to do? You want me to shoot you? Oh, there's ads. Okay. 
Hammer! Oh my god. Oh shit! Alright. Oh! Oh, there's too many! Thank you, Hammer. I know you will. Oh, you have more ads. Oh, why did I shoot that? I could have saved that. Dunk. Oh no, she stasis me, you piece of shit. It's pretty cool that she can use stasis. Oh, 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 where? Is it, do have to go on that platform? Like, it makes enemies feel more threatening now than that. They like have super real abilities before it's like, Kind of feels like you're just playing Call of Duty and Amy's just threw grenades or shoot you. But with the Taken, granting them like abilities that made them more uh, threatening, especially when, you know, like they could split annoyingly. <laughs> Why am I struggling on this while I'm talking? I guess that's why it's taken King West are so good. Like it made the enemies more scarier. Oh, dude. Rip you. Rip. I guess I get denied. What the hell? Did you guys teleport? Did I just lag? The darkness beckons. Darkness, I don't want you. Leave me alone. I don't know your fucking abilities. They're so useless to me. Uh -huh. oh, oh. Okay. Yeah, I just did a melee and it did that. Now I lost that part, but I guess I'm here. You know what? Fuck you guys. I just, just Thunderlord. Thunderlord though. Thunderlord's so OP. Oh, you're, you have invincibility. Come on. Get off of that invincibility, please. Take it off. Don't be a coward. Fight me like a man or a woman. No judgment. Just fight me. Wait. Do I have to stasis her to fight her? To damage her, do you think? Oh, you do. I see. All right, just let me, just let me melee you. Just get Falcon Punch. Get Falcon Punch. Barracks, Phylax is down. Her soldiers will scatter, but there cool fight, are other powerful Elixni that will stand in your path. Destroy now the I am the warrior. Destroy the army. This is a start, at least. Let's get that splinter back to camp. But yeah, I probably call that a video. So it's called Empire Hunt the Warrior. So does that mean we're going to be doing more Empire Hunt? Or is that like a new mode or new story type missions? Which feels like it's the same as before, you know? I guess it's like a theme. Maybe it's like Empire Hunt because we're hunting down Uranus's so-called empire, which is her just ruling over the houses. And we're toppling her empire by taking down her pillars. So we took one down, three left to go, I think. But yeah, I'll probably call the video here. Anyways, thanks for watching. Love you guys. Stay safe. And i see you next time if we do hunt another one or they're going to dump us in another patrol. But that was a really cool fight. But was it better than the other ones? I feel like it was. Honestly, yeah, it feel better than every single boss fight up until now, really. Most of it was just stationary. They get invincibility. We stay in the same area. They spawn ads. And then over time, they spawn different ads on top of that ads. Like they never really start gaining new abilities or doing new things. 
because she, she was a Vanguard fighter for Phase 1, and then she teleported new map. She sniped, summoned ads, started sniping for Phase 2, and then Phase 3, another map, started using the stasis ability more, and she was, she went front runner again. I feel like they could have just made her use stasis ability from the beginning, but I feel like this, this would have been a really greater fight if we didn't get like a friend and friend and love power boost. Like we got the darkness during coincidentally at that time, which made us super strong and beat her. I still wish she was difficult to fight with stasis, but I can understand that this is whatever difficulty is in. And it's not like heroic which story, which isn't unlocked till you do the witch queen. So that's why like I'm, that's the mo one of the things I'm most excited for. The heroic story mode campaign. That's all I want. I did Halo blind through heroic all the way through. It was painful <laughs> for some parts, fun in others. So I can't wait to have that feeling again. If it's going to give me that same heroic blind, blind Halo heroic mode playthrough. But I guess we'll see. Anyways, thanks for watching. Love you guys. Stay safe. And I'll see you next time.